Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. How are you guys doing today? Today I have a really awesome video for you guys. This is a dual cop I did with Seismic Squid. His link is down in the description below, so definitely go check his channel out. And I think it turned out great. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And here you go, guys. Alright, so for the CPU, we picked the Xeon E3 1230v3. This is a Haswell E3, and it clocks in at 3.3 GHz and 3.7 GHz on Turbo Boost. This processor also features hyper-threading and a lot of virtualization features that just wouldn't be available if you were taking normal Haswell or Haswell Refresh i7s or other consumer-grade processors. Another big feature of this Xeon processor is that it supports ECC memory, which is going to be very useful if you want to add that to your build. Now, as you'll see in a moment, we didn't actually include ECC memory, but having that option is extremely powerful if you're looking at something like a workstation. For the motherboard, we have the ASRock B85M Pro 4 Micro ATX motherboard. So this is of course manufactured by ASRock and has a max memory of 32GB. So the memory types this particular motherboard supports is DDR3 1066MHz, 1333, and 1600MHz as well. So this has a CPU socket form of LGA1150, which is going to be perfect for the Xeon that we put into this build. This also supports Crossfire, so if you ever want to actually add on to your, your system build, you will be able to actually do that. It's going to be a perfect build coming in right at $70 on Amazon. Moving on to memory, we picked the Crucial Ballistic Sports 16GB kit, and that's two 8GB sticks of memory. It's DDR1600, and one of the more important features of this is that it features a cast latency of 9, which is going to be important if you're doing video editing or rendering. Besides that, it is by Crucial, which is a reputable brand of memory, and it's not too expensive either. So for the first door solution, we have the solid state drive. For the solid state drive, we chose the Crucial MX100 128GB solid state drive. So of course, this is manufactured by Crucial, and while 128GB as a capacity seems really low, you'll be able to load in your operating system, uh, some of your program files, and some of the possibly the project that you're working on at the moment. So this is going to be just enough room to do all of that, and it'll give you some incredibly fast boot times. So for the boot times, you're going to be paying the price of right at $76, which is just perfect and it'll fit really nicely into this build. For our hard drive, we chose the Western Digital Caviar Blue one terabyte hard drive. Now this hard drive does come with 64 megabytes of cache and SATA 3 six gigabit speeds. Now obviously you won't be utilizing this whole six gigabit capacity, but it's nice to have there anyway. While this thing won't be as fast as your SSD certainly, it will be fast enough with 64 megabytes of cache that will allow you to store maybe a lot of videos, media, or whatever. This makes up for the lack of storage you have in your SSD. For these reasons, the Caviar Blue 1TB is virtually a standard in the computer build industry. So for the GPU, we chose the Asus GeForce GTX 760. So this does have a GDDR5 2GB memory size, and this also has a core clock of 1.01GHz, which is really nice right now, especially for a budget of only $210. And this does support SLI, but sadly we won't be able to actually take advantage of that due to the fact that our motherboard doesn't support SLI at all, so we won't be able to put a second card in if you do wish. However, the reason why we did put this card in in the first place is so that you can take advantage of some of the accelerated graphics available whenever you do actually have a graphics processing unit. So right now on Newegg, this is going to cost you $210, which is a really nice price and it'll fit perfectly into the budget. And finally, we have the Corsair CX 600 watt power supply. Now, this is a great power supply for several reasons. Firstly, it's made by Corsair. It's a very reputable brand of power supplies. Next, it's 80 plus bronze certified. That means you're going to be getting clean, efficient power to your build. Next, it's semi-modular. It's going to be helping out with cable management a lot. You'll be able to put in custom cables even if you want to do that sort of thing. Also, 600 watts will be fine for this build, since we only really have one CPU, one GPU, and also this power supply is semi-modular at a very good price. So for the last component, we have the case. For the case, we chose the NZXT H440 ATX mid-tower case. So of course, this is a mid-tower case, which means that all of our components are going to fit really nicely into this case. This also has a full windowed side, so if you want to show off all these new fancy components, you will be able to do that. Also, this comes in two different colors, which is a white and a black. So the white is really sleek, and the black has kind of that shiny finish that a lot of people do crave. Also, this has six 3.5-inch internal bays and two 2.5-inch bays, which is going to be really nice for expansion uh, if you want to add hard drives or anything of that sort. So right now on Newbank, this is going to be coming right at $100, and this is going to be a must-have for a build due to the sleek and amazing style of this particular case. 
So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Of course, this was a Dukong with Seismic Squid. His link is in the description. So definitely go check out his channel and leave a sub if you do not mind. Also, I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a $1,000 video editing PC build. So if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below. And also leave a sub on my channel as well if you're new around here. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and as always, have a wonderful rest of the day.